Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking play as always. It's the first episode of season two with Estudiantes in Football Manager 2019. Apologies for the voice, really struggling at the minute. Um, got a bit of a bit of a cold and also uh, I was at a gig over the weekend uh, at Wembley. Blackstone Cherry, amazing band. If you're not familiar with them and you like a bit of rock music, check them out. Um, today we are taking on Gymnasia Mendoza, one of the promoted clubs. It's match day two of the um, of the Superliga season. Uh, deadline day has just passed, um, so that is why I've I've waited just so I could round up the transfers for you. Um, very quiet deadline day, um, but over the course of the summer we did sign a player from Real Madrid. So we will get to that shortly. What we will do first is we will have a look at that first match that we played. And we beat Lanús away 1-0 with an early penalty from Emiliano Azuna. But looking at the stats, it should have been a lot more, shouldn't it? Um, we had 25 shots, five clear-cut chances. We hit the woodwork three times all in the first half. Um, it was just that early penalty that got us the points in the end. It was a phenomenal performance. It really, really was. It's been absolutely brilliant. We should have won four or five. The only thing I can hope is the fact that we didn't get three, four, five goals is that it doesn't come back to bite us with the goal difference later on in the season. Um, big news, though, is that Boca lost. They lost their first game... At home as well, I think it was. Let me just find it. Yeah, 2-0 at home to Vélez Sarsfield. That's a massive, massive result. You may remember, of course, last season, they also started really, really slowly and ended up winning the league. So we'll take it with a pinch of salt that um, that they've lost. Um, but yeah, today we take on Gymnasia Mendoza, who had a very good win in their return to the Superliga. So let's get right to the transfers and, and show you who has come in. Um... So, most of these I think I'd already shown you. This is the guy that we signed from Real Madrid, Castilla. Um, Franchu, never heard of him. Never heard of him. Um, been at Real Madrid for a couple of years. 2016 he went to Real Madrid. Um, could play pretty much anywhere in the final third. Uh, he, he looks okay. Um, what I'm hoping is that we can develop him, play him and get some good money for him and sell him on. Um his five-star potential, I'm not sure that he will make the grade for us, but on a free, he's seen no risk. Um, he will get game time once he's fit. He's He was injured when we signed him. Um, wasn't injured when we agreed the contract. I think he got injured um, in the months that followed. So, yeah, looks pretty decent. Hopefully, we will, um, we will do okay by him. Um, these guys here, I've already shown you in an earlier video. Gonzalo Moroni and Kevin Sibyl are ones that the director of football have brought in on loan. Uh, Boca Juniors, Gonzalo Moroni, looks half decent. He'll get some games for us. And Kevin Sibyl looks like a really pretty good centre-back. Um, so all provide good strength in depth. Um, and that is about it. We'll just have a quick look at the finances as we move into the season. As you can see, we've only got 3.6 million in the bank. Um, and 719,000 in the transfer budget. But the big news as well, actually, is regarding the Superliga. Um, it is a 24-team division, but we still only play each team once. So it's a 23-game season and then the Supercopper. And we don't come into that until the second round. So we've got a ridiculously big squad, which I wasn't able to trim as I was hoping. Um, it's not ideal, because we're going to end up with a lot of unhappy players over the course of this season. Um, I was hoping that we'd get rid of a few of these, but it just hasn't happened. We stay with the 4-2-3-1 formation. Um, it's the one I love. Um, so this season, Leonardo Piscalici is going to be phased out. He's 35. His contract is up at the end of the season. He does have a clause to say um, if he plays 20 games, he will get another year. It's a 23-game season. He's not going to play 20 games. He will play in the Copa Argentina and things like that. And he will get the old league game. But I'm, I'm bringing down the average age of the squad and the team. 
and it's going really well at the minute. So John Arteaga is playing in that number 10 role now. Uh, Emiliano Azuna back from his loan spell. Batista Cascini as well is out on loan. So it's a much younger squad. It's a lot more early 20s, mid 20s, um, and it's exactly what I wanted. So I'm hoping this season that we that we should be able to challenge because we haven't got midweek games. So I'm really hoping that we can that we can put that to good use, get a consistent team going, and get some good form going. So what I'm going to say is let's give the fans a performance they're expecting of us. Didn't go well. Let's go in and just have a chat with them. And usual one, isn't it? Always the same. So let's get out there. Let's get this done. Let's get another three points on the board. Following on from that superb performance on the opening day that didn't bring the goals that it should have done. Um, Carlo Latanzio is on the bench today with using Ignacio Bailone because I quite like the look of him, if I'm being honest. Um, Fernando Zucchi inside 20 seconds might be getting booked here what is the referee going to do yeah it's a yellow card he pulled him back didn't he not a good start for him is it ball is cleared up towards halfway Jimenez brings it down um, we're seven minutes in we've had three players booked already and the crossbar has been hit and it's just wide there as well um, this has been a really bad start. Look at that. We've had three players booked inside the first four minutes of this match. Ridiculous. Um, and it's it's in. Emiliano Azuna from the corner. And, I, I well, <laughs> that's kind of taken me a bit by surprise. Uh, Sanchez all the way to the back post. The keeper came, didn't he, and dived for it. And Azuna nods it in. He has scored all of our goals so far this season. Um, there's no offside. It stands. It's 1-0. It's Emiliano Ozuna again. I really liked him. I said it before when I played as Estudiantes back on FM16. I loved Ozuna. He came through the youth team and he was just sensational. Although he was a striker more than a winger on that game. Um, he is Gymnasia in possession. Facundo Sanchez though to Cascini. He was another one. Loved him. Gil Romero, the same. Both these guys in centre and midfield come back from loan spells um, and just delighted to have them back at the club. They would never have gone out if it had been up to me. Here's Cascini. Azuna to Artiaga. Shot blocked. Scrambled away. It's a little bit better. We're starting to assert ourselves on the game a little bit more. Let's keep it going. Free kick into the wall, and ooh, could be a counter-attack on here. Azuna using his pace, plays it looking for Bailoni. Brilliant touch. Bailoni drives it in. It's his first goal of the season. It's a brilliant counter-attack. And Emiliano Azuna with the assist. Um, oh, that's a great highlight. <laughs> what a ball from the halfway line. And just look at that control from Bailoni. Brilliant from Ignacio. Drilled into the far corner. 2-0, and it's been a very, very poor first half. Um, look, we've we've committed six fouls and we've had four yellow cards for it. Um, ridiculous, um, but brilliant now. 2-0 up, bit of daylight. Azuna with a, a sensational start to the season. Um, and we're going to be 2-0 up at halftime here. It's 0-0, San Lorenzo and Colon. Um, I think 2-0 puts us second after two games, um, as things stand. I always say the league table doesn't count until 10, 12 games in, but it's only a 23-game season. 12 games in, it's past the halfway mark. So it kind of matters early on to me. Um, we've got. If it had only been 1-0, I think I probably would have said, I'm not happy. But I'm just going to say, calmly, don't get complacent. Because we're 2-0 up now. We're comfortable. Um, uh, our opponents haven't really shown an awful lot going for. They had that little flurry early on, didn't they, where they hit the bar and put one wide. Um, but other than that, they've not really shown a great deal at all. So, oh, they could be in immediately here, though, and they've hit the woodwork again. Ridiculous. Aguirre with the throw. Moyano back to Aguirre. Come on, keep them out. Aguirre again. Don't let him get the cross in. Oh, my word, what a tackle that was from behind. Zuckwe brings it away, though. It's a good run. Ball switch to the left to Azuna. In it goes. Headed away. Azuna again. Cleared away. But Shunka will pick it up now on the halfway line. Drills the ball forward looking for Zuckwe. Doesn't find him. 
Gil Romero has it. Cashini, really like that pairing. I think they're going to be absolutely brilliant for us this season. Here's Artiago with the shot, and that wasn't far away. Throw in for Campy. Don't know why he's taking the throw in. He's the centre back. Why is the um, left back not taking that? Strange. Here's Artiago. Into Bailone with the shot and beaten away by Marchiore. This is better, boys. This is better. This is a very, very good performance now all of a sudden. As Sanchez whips that corner in and it's cleared away. Artiago could keep it alive here. Is the highlight going to keep going? It is. In the ball goes. Cleared away again. But Gil Romero oh, flies into a tackle. And Cucci. Oh, that's poor from him. Zucchi offside. Zuna with the cross. Keeper flies through the air and claims it. I think I'll probably bring um, a couple of the yellow carded players off in uh, around about the hour mark. Maybe bring Lucas Rodriguez on for a Zuna. Um, I would like to give Latanzio a bit of a run out as well. So maybe Bailone will come off. Um, but it's 2 1. They've pulled one back. Balduni, Balduncil, Bal Lucas has scored. It's his first of the season. He was the one who spread it out to the wing and then got there in the far post to put it away brilliant play flicked on drilled in keeper had no chance and it's nervy all of a sudden Facundo Sanchez with the throw so I've committed possibly the biggest sin you can commit and I've taken off my two best players of the game um, but we'll just watch this highlight out Cashini to Artiaga took an age to get that shot away allowed him to get back and block um, yeah, so we've taken Azuna off. Lucas Rodriguez has come on. Carlo Latanzio has also come on for Bailoni. So hopefully that won't come back to bite us. Um, but there's a counter attack on here. The yellow shirts are starting to flood forward. He's held it. <laughs> he held out well and him. Kicked it out of play. Cheers, lad. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to make our final substitution as well. Gil Romero is looking pretty tired. Um, so I think we'll bring him off and bring on Matthias Labba to play in midfield there. Um, it's been a good performance. It's very, very disappointing that we've let them back in with that goal. Uh, it's their only shot on target, as what's going to happen here is it's going to be a counter-attack. Well, it looks like it, doesn't it? Here's Bazan. Tackle him, tackle him. No, 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 no. How are you unmarked all the way over there? Gaston Campi. Got back to block heroically, but how did we leave him in so much space? Bazan will take the corner, whipped in, and it goes all the way wide. I think Sapa had been fouled anyway. And um, yeah, they scored their only shot on target. That's really disappointing. Um, I say it's been a good performance. It's, we haven't dominated massively, have we? But we definitely deserve to be winning. We're just going to say demand more now, I think. Now, Secundo Sanchez takes the throw. Zucchi heads it back to him. Deep cross. No one there for us. Laba has it now. Cashini. Look, you've got him out. Urquiaga's out in acres of space there. They don't use him, and Zucchi's low drive is saved well. And Artiaga, I think, was offside. That was a really good hit from, was it Zucchi, I think, wasn't it? That was brilliantly saved as well, it has to be said. But it looks like now we've just got to see this one out. Here's Jimenez in midfield. Big thumping ball out to the, their goal scorer. He's driving in field and hits a brilliant shot. And it wasn't far wide. Oh, I didn't need to be seeing a highlight now. We are holding on here at the minute. Four minutes of stoppage time to go. Latanzio picks it up here. Good run from Carlo. Gives it to Lucas Rodriguez now. Oh, he tried to slip it through, didn't he? And it was cut out well by the fullback. Um, are we going to be on the defensive now? Here's Geish. Oh, no, no, no. Lifts it over. Bazan. And they've got a corner. Oh, four minutes of stoppage time. We're into it now. Cleared away by Shunker. Cortizo picks it up. They won their first game of the season, in fairness. Um, so they are a decent side. Labba is going to pick up a card here by the look of it. Oh, no, just a warning. Just a telling off. Don't do that again. Uh, Bazan is going to take the corner, uh, the free kick. In it goes. And Lucas heads it over the bar. He has been very, very dangerous for them. We're going to see the highlights straight from the goal kick. If we score, I'm happy. Um, otherwise, I didn't really need to be seeing it. But <laughs> here's Carlo Latanzio. Come on, what are you going to do? Gives it to Sanchez. 
Played it in. Oh, and cleared away. Carlo Latanzio wasn't there in the six-yard box where he should have been. And Bazan plays it into Baldunciel and Campi again with a brilliant tackle. What a tackle that was. And he has it now out on the left. He's driving forward. Lucas Rodriguez now. What are you going to do, Lucas? Gives it to Artiaga. Played in, looking for Latanzio. It's a good tackle on the edge of the box. And a brilliant tackle on halfway by Shunker. And strange highlights. Uh, but that should be it. We're a minute over the allotted. Fernando Zucchi has it. Laba. Erkiaga. Erkiaga curls it in. Oh, what was that? Zucchi will keep it alive. Just blow the whistle, ref. Just give us the points. Just give us... Well, we've got a free kick. Are we going to take it? Yeah, we are. Come on. Let's get that third then. Two minutes past the stoppage time. There must have been an injury. And... Oh, yeah, look at that. Did they lose a player? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, they had a player go off injured. Um, but that is it. Bit of a shambles in the end, really, that match. But we've got the result. It's two from two now to start the new season. Um, oh, I don't know whether to say we got away with that today. I think I'm going to. Because... We should really have been winning that a lot more comfortably than we did. That is match day two brought to a close then. You can see there, look at that. Second game of the season and it was a super classico at um, at the Monumental. River nil, Boca three. And Sebastian Villa, you can see there, um, got a hat-trick. What a result that is for Boca. Um, we're fourth after two games. As I say, it's a 23-game season, so the league table is kind of important from day one, isn't it? Um, we're going to round off by having a look at the competition expectations because we haven't done that yet. And let's just have a quick look at the season preview and see where it's got us finishing. It's got us finishing sixth, um, which I think would get us in the Sudamericana for, for 2021. Um, I want to finish higher than that. Of course I do. I want to be up here Definitely again. Um, let's have a look at the competitions then. So the the board expect us to finish around the top of the league. Um, I think that was top half originally. So that's they've elevated those expectations. Uh, two wins from two would do that to you though, wouldn't it? Um, quarter final of the Copa Argentina and the Super League Cup is a quarter final as well, which I believe is just getting through that one round. I think. In terms of the Copa Argentina, let's have a quick look. No, we've got the seventh round and the quarterfinal, so they want us to get through two rounds of the Copa Argentina. Um, so that's going to be interesting. That'll depend a lot on the draw. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to smash that like button, hit subscribe as well, turn on those notifications. Down in the link below, Twitter, all that good stuff in there. Links to um, the Save Our Season um, series with FC Yemen in Netherlands that is almost finished now so if you uh, if you haven't caught up on that do that um, I'm not going to promise which game I'm going to come back for I'm just going to um, come back and record when I can the idea is going to be that I'm going to try and get the usual Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos out this week. Then Christmas week, I probably won't release any um, because I'm probably not going to be able to record any. Um, and then in the new year, we'll start up again. So th that will all become clearer. I mean, if I if I get a chance to record, edit, upload, then Christmas Eve, Boxing Day, there may be videos. There may not. Um, no promises either way. So because it's going to be a, a truncated season this season, I'm hoping to smash it out in seven or eight episodes, including this uh before before the Super Cup, and maybe maybe six or seven league games, and then we've kind of got to do the uh, the Super League Cup every round. So yeah, maybe if we do well in that, if we do well in the Copa Argentina, it might just go to to twelve thirteen episodes. Um, but certainly, it won't be uh, twenty two that it was for the first season. Um, I'm loving this save, guys. I'm loving this series. I'm glad that you guys are as well. And I will see you very soon for the next episode for whoever it is that we're playing. <laughs> I hope you come back and join me for it, guys. And I hope my voice gets better. It's, it's a hard work talking at the minute. Um, thank you very much, guys. Hopefully I'll be better soon. And I will, uh, I will see you very soon. Adios, amigos.